You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out this Crayola Color Wonder Mess-Free Light-Up Stamper. Now, it says new in the top left corner, but it's been around for quite a while. As you can tell, there are two clearance stickers, so probably... It says right here was 22 now 1144 so there was a couple price adjustments on there ages three plus magically lights up to show in color now it looks like you get the light up stamper which is this base unit 12 page drawing pad which they show there three markers and then uh, those look like they're stored up here and then 10 ocean themed stamps which are these blue discs let's turn it around though and see now we've used the color-free markers before. This is a stamper that lights up. Magical, mess-free stamping. Color Wonder inks are clear, but the mess-free light-up stamper magically knows what color you're using. Press onto the purple ink pad, and the handle lights up purple. Watch it change colors when using the green or orange pads, too. Looks like you have all this built-in storage area. Removable cover, so it looks like something's going to cover the stamp area. And then look for more mess-free creativity. All right, well, we need to check this out a little bit better. Let's at least get me to take this out of the box. And then we will set up. I might have to change a camera angle or two here, but we'll see. Okay, so there is our mess-free stamper. And then this is the instruction sheet. Here is my booklet. It's got a little bend in my booklet. And then, what else is in there? Okay, so here is the, the discs and the markers. Let's just get these out right here, right now. Okay. So let's take a look at the, nothing else in there. Totally empty now. Let's take a look at the discs. At least look at each one before we stamp. All right, sorry about that. Had a little camera change there. There we go. One, two, now, is there an up or down? I don't think they show you any particular way. So we'll have to see exactly. It looks like a clam, maybe, that's opening and closing there. A turtle or a tortoise. Star. Okay, I'll just put them out. You can decide what they are, exactly what animals they are. A seahorse, we know that one. And then looks like he's this way. Okay. And a shark. You got to have a shark in there. So there are all the different shapes for the ink pads. Okay. And you get these three colors for the markers. All right. So that's all there and set. And then now let's take this bigger unit out. Because I'm assuming now, well, we'll see. Did it say it comes with a battery or not? Maybe not. Let me look at the box real quick. It usually tells you battery not included. And I don't see it on the back, on the bottom anyway. All right, so let's see how this comes apart here. So this locks in. Okay, so it locks in on these little pins and then pulls out and then these are the pads with the and, and they're on there yeah and you can even finger paint with this they say so it's adding a new level of creativity with these let's see is that locking okay so that locks in real easy let me get my camera up a little bit and then let's just see how these go on to here okay so there's this opening there and then a pin on the bottom so there is no right way or wrong way you turn it it's just depending on how you want to put it on there okay and this goes all the way around and goes in here locks in let's get these in here one two and three and then the discs look like they just go in here simple enough Okay, now it is all set up and ready to play.
So let's see, do they show you battery? Okay. Batteries must be installed by an adult. Oh, all right, well, let me do that. Three AA batteries not included. It says right on here. All right, so let me get those. At least we're closer to check this out now, and then I will come back and we will get started. All right, so three batteries going in. You gotta watch these little plastic inserts. You see that on some toys nowadays, not on every toy. Okay, let's just push it all down. There we go. Real simple to do. Okay, so now the pad should light up when you touch a color. Now let me put everything back. Had to take the markers out, of course. get this out of here. That's going to keep it safe and dry when you're not playing. Okay, let's just check now. Let's do the orange. This should light up orange. Ooh, it does. This should light up green. Ah, and this should light up purple. All right, cool. Let's do this in the dark. Let's just see how bright it really is. Let me do it. Hold on a second. Hey, get back there. All right, so I had to get the camera set and focus. There is the first one. Here is the green. Look at that. So it looks like you can stamp in the dark. Ooh, the purplish blue. Now my camera might be picking up the wrong color here. Let's just see if we could see the pad. Okay, so seahorse going on. Let's put them in here. Now they say you can mix the colors too. So if we put that onto that, let's see if we can stamp something here. See if it's bright enough to see. Here we go. It is. Look at that. Let's do it right here. All right, seahorse. Ah, it does work. See that? Can't see the color. Let's see if you can get two stamps. Okay, so you're going to have to re-ink. There you go. It's there. See it? Can see it reflecting a little. Here's some green. Yep, all right. So it works. Let's see. Let's see if we just use it as light now and come in with a color and you should be able to draw in now. Ooh, look at how it's changing with the... Can you see that? I you can see a little bit of it. All right, let's head back to the light. Let me plug that thing back in the little storage area. Be right back. All right, so here we are. This was the stamp I was using, and then this is what it looks like up close, so you can see it. Remember now, I colored that one in. And this you can kind of see purple and the green. And then no real, let me see. All right, we've done that stamp. Let me just start a fresh page here. Let's turn it this way, okay? And then, so we've done this stamp. Let's just take a look at another one here. Let's put this one on. Okay, now I don't see any marking to say top of stamp, like up here, so you know to keep it that way, so you're gonna have to look. Let's just put it on here and take a look at it and see. Okay, you can see the, the liquid on there. All right, let's get this in here, here we go. So this is the top. Let's just say he's coming out of the water like that. There he is, happy, all right. And then let's grab a fish. And then let's try this color here. And this, the pad inside here, I don't know if you see, it does move around so you can kind of put pressure on it and wiggle it to get that nice and covered with the color on there. All right, let's put them in the water. You're hanging out down there. Ooh, let me give you a super close up of the next one here. Let me take this off. Let me grab the next one here, the turtle. Let's grab that. Okay, turtle is on. Let's get a real, let's see if we can get this really close and so you can see the color transformation here. All right, so we'll put it right there. We'll grab the purple. There we go. Let's see if we got enough on there. Ooh, look at that. All right, we're gonna run through all these now. And then we'll color in. All right, let's do, I'm going to do the orange and the green. 
and see if we get something different here. Not really. It's the last color that I used. The shark. Ooh, the shark. Let's put him up here in the purple. Okay, came out pretty good. You're going to have to wiggle it like the tip. See the tip didn't get covered there? All right, let's get this next one here. I got a lot of fish in my happy water scene. So I'm just kind of looking to see which way is up before I stamp. We'll put them deep in the depths. Nice, huh? All right, and then the crab. We'll put the crab. He'll be up. Maybe we'll put him up on shore somewhere. Maybe I'll have to try to make this work. I don't know now. My goal here was just to kind of show you every one, but... Okay. And then this one here. Let me grab these two out. The last two, it looks like. Now they also say, I think I mentioned it, you can finger paint. Look at that. Meaning you could just dip your finger in it. Last one. Let's see, one more of the orange. We got three of each but orange. Which way did I put him? I didn't look. Oh, he's upside down or turned around. All right, so there is three, six, nine, ten. Did we get them all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, the last one I already did on the other page, but. Maybe find him in here. Where did you go? That was the seahorse. Let me add him in there so we get them all in. Okay. That would wrap them all up. Okay, there we go. Last one in green. There you go. So that is all of them. Now finger painting. This is what they said. You could just dip your finger in here. Do, do, do. See that? Let's do that real close. Okay. So that does work. Then of course you can use the markers. Now obviously my picture is not going to turn out to be anything because it's a little random. Well, let's just see if we can color in the lines. Here we go. Because I think if you go over them, let's just show you. The stamper color should remain. But even though you go over the line, it doesn't change the color of the actual stamp. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say I take this blue and I go over the lines. You should still be able to see the stamp in there. Yes, you do. Now, the blue worked better than the yellow for me. And I'm not being very colorful here. Plus, I am using my left hand, which I normally don't use, but I just worked out this way with the angle so you could see it better. Okay, I know. Not the best coloring, but that's okay. We're not here to judge my coloring. We're here to check out this toy. You try doing it with your opposite hand. It's hard. So you really have to get in there and hit all the spots to make sure you're getting all the areas. But then again, you get a little different texture when you don't. Okay. So that works. So I think overall, everybody understands how it works, right? Tell me what you think in the comments. I think that pretty much covers it. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned about this set to see all the things you can do. And thanks for supporting Lucky Penny Shop. It's really appreciated.
And thanks for sharing the videos on social media and doing all that stuff. That really helps promote the channel, which keeps the channel going. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.